Hi, in this video we will solve um, for the vibration, the modes of vibration of a metal bar by using Elmer Fem. And uh, let's get started. Um, actually, before we get started, um, I would like to mention if you want to run um, Salome on Arch Linux, I did a little script that helps you install it um, you can find it um, in the description below and the instruction on the repository will be I think will be pretty clear um, otherwise Salam is pretty easy to install on, a, on Ubuntu just download uh, the most relevant um, binary version um, also, another thing I would like to mention um, is that I will not be using Elmer as a native package on Arch Linux. And the fact is that uh, there isn't one. Uh, there will be one package on the Arch user repository, but that is not building for me and I'm having a, hard try, a very hard time in uh, building the GUI for Elmer uh, from source because some dependency issues so I, I will be using the um, virtual machine that you can find here so wiki this is the Elmer repository um, you will find the description for this uh, um, the, the link in the description for this as well so just click on wiki go to packaging and as you can see there are packages for Ubuntu they are very easy to install um, I, did <coughs> uh, I did mention how to install Elmer on Ubuntu on my blog it is very very easy uh, but if you are not in Ubuntu, you can use a virtual machine, you can just download it from here and it is very easy to get it working into virtual box. So let's go ahead. This is the virtual machine. So I just replicated um, our um, progress in here. So into the documents folder I got our metal bar project folder with all of our files. Here you can see that the user in this virtual machine is Elmer user. So this is actually why I kept a very coarse um, mesh so that we can solve it easily also on a virtual machine and learn how to use the software. Um, I actually have a remote machine uh, with Ubuntu somewhere else on which I can run bigger problems and maybe I'll do. So I plan to show in these videos how to get a problem up and running um, but maybe the uh, heavy work will be done with finer meshes maybe when needed on other machines and all right um, I think we just can start now so let's open the terminal there's a handy icon in there and let's open up the GUI for Elmer nice so um, we can open our um, mesh so let's navigate to where we put the mesh and there it is our UMV we can open it up and well that sure looks like the mesh uh, we did before um, I'm just not gonna move this thing around a lot I'm just not to have my poor computer explode while recording this um, but 
I want to where's the compass oh there it is just want to add a compass so that we understand how the thing is oriented so view compass so the way we go ahead into setting up a solution for this um, physics problem is just by going down most of the items here so let's start from setup this is the general setup for our finite element model and we can see a couple of things um, first we will be saving the results of our simulation uh, into a VTU file we will use Paraview to look at that we will be able to do so back into my Arch Linux um, box um, well, my Arch Linux host um, this is the solver input file that this GUI will be generating according to our um, setup there's only one thing for this project that we need to take care of and it is coordinate scaling so if you remember every time we defined the dimension of our bar we did so in millimeters um, but when we import uh, the UMV file into Elmer, Elmer will think that those are meters so that's how we tell to Elmer to treat those dimensions as millimeters so that we can apply so now we're ready to define an equation so um, it's gonna be linear elasticity um, I just changed the name so it isn't necessary to change the name it could be anything the name it can literally be literally be anything um, it is a good practice to do because this is a multi-physics um, solver so you could have many bodies each one governed by a different equation um, so this is not the case now we only have one body I don't know why it is called body 7 uh, maybe we can set that up somewhere in Salon but we're going to use one equation active for just this body and let's edit the solver setting in fact we just uh, decided to have an equation governing um, this uh, system but we need also to solve the equation so we need to set up the solver and the first thing we will do is to click on Eigen analysis um, in very few words this is how we instruct Elmer fam to search for the modes of vibration so we will be searching for resonance frequencies and the associated vibrations um, although in reality uh, Elmer will find the eigenvalues and the associated vibration which is really the same thing the eigenvalues are just the square of the angular frequency associated with the resonance frequency and the eigenfunctions are just the vibration and the modal vibration themselves um, we are gonna search just for the first four five um, uh, modes with the smallest frequency essentially this is what we're gonna do and I think we did all there is to do in here um, nothing to change in there looks good in here as well um, now um, our solver our equation is linear we will be using um, a linear material um, we will 
assign a material to this metal bar later and they will be aluminium um, but isotropic linear model of aluminium so the whole problem actually is linear so we need no no linear iteration if we had to leave that at 20 the software would just keep on giving us the same result 20 times so we just put it to one now we go to linear system and actually um, this kind of problem can be easily solved by a direct method we UMF pack solver and I'm just gonna set up an ILUT preconditioning um, I came to this combination mainly by trial and error um, we will maybe have a look when we get to more complex problems so you can figure out the best combination normally you can look at the equations governing um, the physics you're trying to solve for and figure out something but maybe some refinement will need to to be done by trial and error so I think that's pretty much it so we can do apply and OK so I think now yeah our equation is ready so as we mentioned let's just make our metal bar to be of some generic aluminium so by selecting al aluminium in the model library we just fill the parameters also the linear elastici elasticity parameters so if you know a little bit of um, material physics you know that we are really modeling this material as an isotropic material and let's just apply this material to our body and let's, let's click OK so we did mention that we need boundary conditions so we could add a body force it is a force that is applied to each volume of our domain but we don't need it for this uh, study um, we are not gonna be able to apply an initial condition because our problem is an eigenvalue problem not a time domain problem and so we are really only required for this problem, for this model, to apply a boundary condition. So let's go ahead and create one. I think I want to make one of the faces, the base of our metal bar to be fixed, which means that we want a directly a boundary condition. So um, condition applied on the field we're solving for so on the displacement which is the ultimate solution um, and we say whatever boundary we apply this condition to that stays still it doesn't move so the displacement from the position of rest is zero let's call this boundary condition fixed so we can select the boundary to where we want to apply the boundary condition in there but I like to do another thing which is go here and do set boundary properties so the boundary to where I want to apply the boundary condition is the bottom one so we can see from the compass that this is the bottom one so double click and if we double click our boundary we can see that we select it and it becomes red so you remember when we were using Salome 
um, we created groups uh, one variable group and six uh, faces group so that's exactly what we are selecting here we are selecting one of the faces group this is how Elmer recognizes uh, bodies and boundaries so bodies are uh, volume groups in the UMV mesh we prepare with Salon and uh, boundaries and faces groups in the UMV mesh we prepare with Salon so we selected this one and let's apply the fixed boundary condition we just defined so and all right so that's it let's go ahead and let's save the project so now it, this is slightly misleading in uh, Almer um, so you open up a dialog to say and then it says open uh, the reason is that Elmer doesn't save one project file but a collection of files and he wants us to uh, give a target directory to where to save all the different files so let's create it and in our you know project folder I'm gonna create an Elmer folder it can really be uh, called anything and it can be uh, created anywhere in your file system I just like to have one project folder for everything and now we can click open so if we go to our file manager now we have in our project folder the Elmer folder and in the Elmer folder all of our project file without solver input file and we can read the solver input file in here and we can also edit in case we need, so, we need to do so and everything looks just like it is supposed to look in, which is the way we set it up with the GUI and there are cases in which not all the parameters are available or not even all of the solvers are available through the GUI and you may have to edit this file uh, when you do more advanced things but for the time being this is just a very simple um, project that can be run completely through the GUI so to solve we can go ahead and click start solver and it actually already finished and the conversion history window we really don't have a plot to show because we only did we only do one nonlinear iteration covered um, the log and yep that's it it is already done and um, this is already part of the solution we're searching for these are the first five smallest um, magnitude eigenvalues and by smallest magnitude I mean the magnitude of the eigenvalue itself and we will see in the next video about post-processing how to go from these numbers to the resonance frequencies so what we found right now are the first five resonance frequencies and in our VTU file that we exported which is in here right? no? oh yeah, yeah which is in here um, there are also the modes of vibration of our bar so I think we can call it a video and see you on the next one 
Hi, uh, before we go ahead and look at the results, I would like to point out a couple of additional things about our problem. So let's um, open up Elmer again. And let's load our project. Just open the directory. Okay, so if we solve the project again, cool, we can see our log file again and we can actually save it. And let's do that so that we can use the log file later in our post processing. Now, I think it would be interesting if we actually change the problem a little bit and look just at what happens. And so let's put 12 here. And now let's go to the bottom face again. And let's remove the boundary condition. So now we have no boundary conditions applied on the bar, which means that we are modeling a free bar. So will it work? And it looks like we didn't save. So let's save. And let's try it again. Okay. Yeah, so it looks like that it worked. And of course, we have 12 eigenvalues values now. But you can see that the first six are very small. In fact, they are supposed to be zero. And the reason is that when a bar is free, the first um, modes of vibration will be just the bar moving along each one of the Cartesian directions as a wall thing, as a rigid thing, and rotating around these same directions. So we have as many zero frequency modes, so bar moving uh, rigidly, as there are um, uh, rigid body degrees of freedom. So these first six modes really are not interesting. They're just they just reflect the fact that since the bar is free, it can move along each one of the directions and rotate ar uh, around the same directions. So the modes we're interested in are actually these ones. But let's just go back to dot fixed and let's just put it back to the file. Save again. And now we are in the same condition in which we left on the last video, but with the difference that we just saved our log file. Oh. We did that before, so we don't do that again. Okay, so in the next video, we will be looking at the results.